Welcome to Let's Fix It Right. In my opinion, this episode provides you the best approach for installing a water line for your refrigerator or ice maker by using a shark bite water line T in lieu of a standard or traditional water line fitting. I've never had a good experience with traditional ice maker saddle valves which come in kits like this one. The first time you shut these off and open them up again, they're prone to leaking. Over time, this rubber insulation pad can become brittle and start leaking. In addition, installing a saddle shutoff valve normally damages and distorts its source copper line. This is the section of the one half inch copper water line where my saddle valve was originally installed. Later in this video, I cut this section out when I removed my old saddle valve and installed a shark bite fitting. Consequently, I recommend against using a standard saddle valve fitting similar to this one. I discussed these valves with a good friend who owns a plumbing company and he strongly agreed that a shark bite fitting is the way to go. Consequently, I recommend that you use a shark bite fitting similar to this one. For your convenience, I've provided a link in the video description below to a competitively priced shark bite fitting. However, prior to purchasing it, ensure that you're buying one that matches your home's water line size. The fitting below provides for a connection between a 1 half inch water line and this 1 quarter inch copper line which connects to your refrigerator. Nonetheless, during this shark bite installation, you'll see that I use the 1 quarter inch copper line and fittings that came with the saddle valve kit that I showed you earlier. We are going to install this shark bite fitting within my home's existing 1 half inch copper water line. 1 half inch copper line will enter into this side and the opposite side of the shark bike fitting. The first thing we need to do is to determine the amount of one half inch copper line that we need to cut out to accommodate the shark bike fitting by measuring the depth of the fitting insert area. We'll do this by inserting my depth gauge into the shark bike fitting sleeve. And the gauge goes into the fitting to this distance. This distance is 7 eighths of an inch. So 7 eighths of an inch of copper water line is going to extend into this side and the opposite side. 7 eighths of an inch of copper line coming into both sides of the shark bite fitting leaves 5 eighths of an inch remaining in the center. In other words, this shows that we need to cut out and remove 5 eighths of an inch from the copper water line to accommodate the total width of the shark bite fitting. This is the 1 half inch copper water line where we are going to install the shark bite fitting. Our old saddle valve connection was here where the water is dripping out of it. Our 1 quarter inch copper line going up to the refrigerator will run here. So we are going to install our shark bite connection with this orientation. We'll cut out the 5 eighths of an inch of water line here on both sides of the hole. I'll mark this with a magic marker to ensure that we properly remove this whole area. Measuring it shows that it is 5 eighths of an inch. With a small tubing cutter, I cut out the 5 eighths section of water line to accommodate the shark bite fitting. I then removed the 5 8 section of water line on the left so I can install the shark bite fitting in the gap on the right. Next, I pulled the two sides of the water line apart so I can insert the shark bite between them. I have the shark bite T installed and we've capped it off here temporarily. And we've got a good connection. I've turned the water on. We have no leakage. When I initially turned the water on, I did have a slight leak after merging the two pipes and I couldn't get rid of it so I gave it a good solid wallop. Pretty good tap with my hammer and a, and a block of wood and that really seated it well and it stopped the leak altogether. So I think that's worth noting at this point. You could run into a problem like that. We have a very stiff joint here and not a, a lot of flexibility to, to move the pipes into the shark bite. I've pulled out our refrigerator and prior to going in the back, I'd like to mention a few things to you. I would recommend that you, you read your, your manufacturer's instructions on, before installing your, your water line. 
And I'd also recommend that you leave, you use at least a copper water line. There are kits available with plastic, plastic tubing, and I understand that's susceptible to cracking and breaking over the years, especially if you're pulling the refrigerator in and out to clean underneath it and also to clean the condenser area in the back so the refrigerator doesn't fail over time. So anyway, I would recommend reading that. Ours calls for uh, going to the, to the rear of the refrigerator, right here, and connecting into this line right here that I'm bringing up with my, remove this quarter inch line. Well, I have the, the line uh, removed from the bottom of the refrigerator and it's got this safety cap on it and a, a union here. And this is a union into fairly sturdy plastic, hard plastic water line here. And you can see that they have, manufacturer has permanent type fitting here to this union. So the, what we're gonna do is connect our copper line to that union. And to do this, we'll partially un un uncoil the copper line and I'll pull out from the water line kit a new brass fitting. Oh, uh, we'll slip our, our nut on and our brass nut and then our, our fitting here. So then we take this to the back of the refrigerator here. Push the copper line forward as far as possible and then line up, make sure I don't cross thread the threads here. And we'll tighten that. Tighten that very tight. I'll apply a crescent wrench here on this nut here and use a half inch on the other bit side and tighten this so you can feel it snugging up to ensure that we don't have a, a, a leak. So it's snug. We don't want to overly tight this and distort the line either. That uh, eyelet that you saw me slip over the copper line will distort if you, if you tighten that too much. So tighten it nice and snug and the next step is to screw this back onto the uh, refrigerator. Secure this onto the refrigerator. next step is to uncoil our copper line and we're gonna sort of coil this and some, put some large loops into the line and the reason I'm doing that is this will facilitate pulling out the refrigerator pushing it in and out in order to get to the rear of the refrigerator for cleaning purposes and access maintenance access purposes so you want to Carefully uncoil this, the copper line, and not kink it at all, and then run it down into a basement to our connection line. And I had a previous uh, hole here, as you can see. If I was starting from scratch, I'd have to drill a hole in the floor to get to the water line in the basement. So uh, since I've already done that, I'm gonna run this, carefully uncoil this, and not kink it to get it into the basement. And I'll bring it around one more time. And the line is fairly close, the connection, my shark bite connection is fairly close. So I don't really need a whole lot of copper line in the basement. I'll pull one, one more loop out of it 
This will ensure that I have more than enough in the basement. Okay, that completes that. Now we're gonna leave the refrigerator out because I'm gonna go into the basement, connect into the shark bite fitting down there, and then turn the water on and we'll leave the refrigerator out so you can come back and inspect for leaks. We're gonna make sure there's, there's no leaks whatsoever. Okay, so I, I had a, a slight kink in the line here uh, when I unstretched it, and you're gonna, that's gonna happen, happen to you most likely. So using my tubing cutter, I cut this off right here and uh, in order to get the fittings on there, and these are pretty closely fit, I had to sand this down fine sandpaper. I used, I believe, 320 grit. Yeah, 320 grit. So this time I'm gonna paste, place this fitting on here. From the, this is from the shark bite fitting. And then we'll put the, the copper line fitting over it in place here. Carefully position the copper line in place so we don't kink it. Slide the copper line into the shark bite fitting receptacle here. Line this up, push it in as far as it'll go. and then bring its, its fitting down. And as you can see, it's going on at this time. And I thought it was a half inch, but it's not. It's most likely metric. And that makes sense since it came from Australia. So tightening this up, make sure that it's not binding. And just get it nice and snug. Do not strip the threads. Okay, so we have it in place here. For prior to turning this on, I'm gonna have my wife look upstairs to make sure we have no water leaks up there when I turn it on. So I have my wife upstairs. I'm gonna turn the water on at this time from the shark bite, and she's watching upstairs to see if it leaks. Any leaks upstairs? So, okay, so we're good to go with no leaks. My wife just checked the connection here for no water leakage, there's nothing there. As you can see coming out or water is coming into the refrigerator. So I want to carefully coil this back and get it in a position so we can push the refrigerator back safely without binding that, that copper line. So we'll center the refrigerator in its area and centered here and here and we're in good shape with the copper line and we'll go back at this time. Okay, so we have a good installation. It'll be 24 hours before I'll be able to check the ice maker. So let's go ahead and try the water line at this time. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So we have a successful uh, installation of our water line and we'll try the ice uh, tomorrow morning after we've given it a, little, a reasonable amount of time to make some ice. It's now been about 12 and I'm curious to see if uh, it's working with our new uh, water line hookup here. Well, let's test it and see what it does.
Okay, so you, as you can see, it is working. It took a little bit while. But once again, it's only been about 10, 12 hours since we connected the water line. So it, uh, I, I imagine it'll, it'll fill up and it'll dispense ice much faster than that uh, next time I try it. This concludes this episode, which provides you the best approach for installing a water line for your refrigerator and ice maker by using a shark bite water line tee in lieu of a standard or traditional saddle fitting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time, I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. With all of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.